Welcome back everyone. Today's video I will be unboxing this wonderful, uh, what is his name again? Sakuma Ray figure. This is from a series called Ensemble Stars and I think it's a video game but I've never played it. I just know that it involves idols except instead of females like they usually are it's boys. It's very popular so it inspired a bunch of figurines um, and this is one of them. It's by the company Alter uh, which also made the free figure that I got a while back as well as the Leonardo Watch K Kakai Sensen figure that I also have that I have not unboxed actually <laughs> so um, they're a very well-known company for making really quality figures so I I saw this guy and his design and I immediately wanted him. I received him a while back because I did take someone's pre-order and I just got around to um, filming this and I apologize for any noise in the background. Um, I have to say his box looks very pretty but it's plastic which was the same for the Leonardo watch figure and on one hand it looks really cool because it's transparent but on the other it's very flimsy when I got him brand new um the top of his box already had tons of scratches on it that reflect really noticeably with the light um and I wasn't too happy about that but I tried not to let it get to me um the rest of his box though looks amazing maybe that was just because of storage wherever they were housing these figures um it was probably stacked under one of them and during transit got scratched which is something the company should really take into account I guess when they make these figures the box itself just has a picture of him on the back and a lot of uh, motifs and designs all in black very pretty but very simple as well honestly don't know anything about the character <laughs> But hopefully that's not a problem. And then it says Alter at the bottom. His name. He is 1 8 scale, I want to say. 7 scale. So he's slightly bigger than 1 8 scale. The uh, smaller the number, the bigger the figure, <laughs> I've learned. I'm not using my usual filming space, so I apologize for these awful angles. But here's the bottom. So there is an Alter sticker at the bottom for licensing. And I know he does have a brother that also has a figure, but I looked at him. He was more blue. I much prefer the reddish purple, so I only got Sakuma Rei, and I'm happy to open him. I want to try and open him from the bottom. I don't know if it's possible, though. I think it is. So I'm going to do that, just because his top is already so messed up. I don't want to add to it. Very fragile plastic. Ah! Okay. <laughs> So here we have instructions on how to put him together. He does not have as many props as the free figures, thank goodness. He just has a stand that you um, have to put him on and then he has a microphone that you add to his hand. Ooh, you smell the fresh plastic? Cause I do. <laughs> So here is the base. It's in the shape of a gem with a flat top. Here's the peg. It says Sakuma, Sakuma Rei. And then it's clear purple, which is really nice. But it also has matted checkerboard painted on it. And then the bottom says Happy Elements KK Made in China. So that's the licensing on the bottom. I don't even know if you'll be able to see that. But it's a really nice base. I really like it. Simple, yet elegant. And then we have the actual figure himself but first let me take out his microphone it's in this slot back here so here's the microphone for how tiny it is it's actually quite detailed I'm very impressed and that's actually clear what is that plastic it's really cool really well done good job Alter and here we have the man of the hour. Oh my god, he's beautiful! Look at him! So like always, I'm gonna put him on his base and then just voice over what I think. But just looking at him now, he is absolutely beautiful. So he has, he has a square on the bottom of his foot. You probably can't see that. But that's where you put this peg on his left foot. Oh my gosh, he just slid in and that is wonderful. Very easy. And then gonna put his microphone on him so I think you just slide it in here oh there we go simple enough perfect 
I'm going to start off this review by introducing the character according to the Ensemble Stars Wikia, a self-proclaimed vampire who becomes completely miserable when the sun shines on him even in the early morning, Ray is one of the three oddballs. While he appears sociable, he never shares his true intentions with anyone. He speaks and acts like an elder, and he also knows a lot about the school's history. Since he studied abroad for a year, he has to repeat a grade. Even though Ray is the president of the Light Music Club, he makes no effort to put things together. <laughs> he loves his brother's second year, Ritsu Sakuma, which also had a figure made of him, by the way, but receives harsh treatment in return. He is the leader of the unit Undead. To me, it sounds like he's lazy. <laughs> I'm kind of interested in playing the game now. But anyway, for the most part, his box isn't anything special, like I said before. It's pretty and simple, and a great way to display him in his box since the decorations around him act as frames. I do still prefer cardboard boxes, but the plastic isn't that bad. I've owned two figures from Alter so far, and like the previous ones, this one has so much crisp detail. Let's start with the base, which is in a gem shape with a flattened top. I do love the simplicity, and while it could have easily looked gaudy, the fact that it has checkerboard and matches with his microphone balances the figure well. It's not too large that it looks or takes too much space, but acts as a proper stage for this idol boy. Putting him on it was simple, way more simple than the free figures I got previously. <laughs> That's really good. I can easily slide him off of it as well. According to Amiami, this figure features him in his Cayenne, Dark Knight Halloween outfit, which I'm assuming was an event in the game. Definitely looking like an elegant creature of the night, Ray wears a simply stylish ensemble in a pose reminiscent of him being on stage performing, with one leg solidly on his peg and the other lifted. One hand holds his microphone while the other reaches out onto the audience. I really, really love this pose. Most of the detail is on his torso, so his boots aren't much to discuss, but I do like how they aren't plain solid black. They have design and a muted purple color to complement the base. Moving on up, I can see his clothes are sculpted really well. His boots have sculpted buttons, which look really good for such a small detail, and the folds in his clothes are done well. Not a lot, just enough to give him some depth and form. His waist area is where the really neat detail work starts to shine. His jacket has a long flowing cape of sorts that flows nicely and is painted a rich gradient red underneath allowing the darker shades of his pants to pop. He has a lot of ruffles on his outfit, most no notably along his waist and what looks to me like buttons attached to a belt maybe? I don't know, <laughs> but they look amazing. The flow of the fabric is really well sculpted, and as I filmed these close-ups, I was astonished at the attention to detail in the lace edges as well as on the gems. He's wearing a white version of this fabric underneath his vest, and if you look closely, you'll see it goes all around his waist. The further you move up, the more you'll notice small details that add character to his figure. A soft curve of fabric, extra lines for texture, one side of his coat flattening an invisible wind. It's all really, really nicely thought out. At this point, I'm just admiring the color scheme. Rich red, dark purple, and what I want to say is either a maroon or dark magenta vest matched with the more blue tone of his jacket. Combined with a touch of silver accents for his chain, buttons, and shoulders, it all works really well. Even the blue gem, which is delicately sculpted on his collar, matches well. His hands are beautiful. They look inviting, which I know sounds really creepy, but I don't know. They look soft, if that makes any sense. Not stiff at all, they flow very well and have this natural action to them. I love how there is a lot of detail in this area as well, what with his cuffs and undershirt. I really do like that the microphone can be removed as well. It's really well sculpted and it fits easily in his hand. And once removed, you can put other props in there for funny photos. Versatility is important. Finally, his face. Gentle, confident. I don't want to say seductive because that's weird, but I'm sure a lot of fans of this guy thought the same when they saw that half smirk. The intensity of his eyes are perfect. With a pose that confident, it's highly important that the face matches and I can't see any fault with it. Same for his hair, which looks really nice. It's interesting how these figures are sometimes made from the same company and artists, but they can portray characters so uniquely. Ray's hair doesn't look anything like Makoto's in the free figure I have. It's a completely different texture, very flowy. I love it. The paint job is matte, so nothing that interesting to say about it, but I do like how there's a subtle gradient in it, which was something I noticed all over the figure and adds a really nice touch overall. And that is my review of Ray Sakuma's 1 7th scale, yes, he's a big guy, figure by Alter.
Props to the sculptor Imai and the painter Nanami Tetsumori for a wonderful job. I love him and I'm glad I was lucky enough to snag a pre-order since he was an exclusive and since his release he has been sold out almost everywhere or has jumped up in price where it's available. Thank you so much for watching. I will try to leave links to where you can get him in the description. Like I said, he may have jumped up in price, so he might be pricier than what I paid for him, but he is definitely worth the money, I think, depending on what your budget is. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see y'all in my next video.